Steve Kukavit here with Carl Prince for the, your main event at the UK Fighting Championships 5. Lawrence Fitzpatrick in the red corner, representing MMA Academy Liverpool, taking on Vincente Marquez from ADOG for the UKFC lightweight title. Yeah, Lawrence Fitzpatrick looking to bounce back from uh, the solitary loss of his professional stanza so far. A uh, real close contest with uh, Paris's Anthony Dizzik. Coming out southpaw, looking to throw some front leg side kicks and some nice round kicks. Such, such fantastic technique, um, um, Fitzpatrick, in, in everything that he, that he really performs. And oh, good nice. collapse of the hip. Yeah, really mu muscled him over there. Looking to wrap around, got a, a, ni a nice shoulder pressure down there. Oh, that just doesn't look comfy at all. Lots of shoulder pressure. Yeah, the shoulder adjust this and then, and then use, using his own hand really to push his, his chin back onto that shoulder. So good so, technical work here from Fitzpatrick. Now he's looking to ex really extend uh, Marquez's left arm away from his body. Still controlling with that wizard. Fitzpatrick. Ah, good job by Marquez of, of, of acquiring it like a, 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 a half guard position. Both these guys are, you know, six fights into their pro career. This is a seven for both, and only one fight in their record separates them. So we have five and one and four and two. But Fitzpatrick, though, you know, as you say, it, busy. He's in, in France, they call him poison. There ain't... They're, they're, they're you just can't get rid of him. But you see, but you see Fitzpatrick hurt him with a, a, a horrible body shot in that fight, and... And then Dizzy just had it slamming down and, and, and Fitzpatrick suffered an injury. So whether that's a defeat or not, I, I'd still question. Uh, and, and you're gonna look, you're gonna see big things that I expect out of Lawrence Fitzpatrick. And obviously he's got the no easy task ahead of him tonight with Vicente Marquez. He's doing a lot of the right things, regarding, breaking posture. Absolutely. Fitzpatrick though, keeping working. Nice shot elbow. L looking, yeah, Famously, look. uh, about uh, six years ago, Fitzpatrick fought oh. a guy called Lewis, Lewis Chapman and got him in the corner and just, I've never seen such brutal elbows in before, since or after, so. <laughs> Something for us to keep an eye on, perhaps to end this fight if he can get the position. Nice left hand. You see? Posture and comes onto his feet, yeah, to drop a, a nice short elbow. And Walking him back towards his corner, yeah, straight into the, straight into the MMA Liverpool, the academy's corner. Jason Tan, yeah, Pete Davis and uh, Michael Mick Bowman there, and, and all, all of them, giving advice. Bowman very, very verbal. Lo Lozer and, and Bowman are very close people outside the cage, so. Um, I'm sure that's good, friendly instruction that he's getting there. We've got Mark Kinsella in the corner too. Upcoming promising like uh, welterweight pro. Nice use of that wizard. Notice the way that Fitzpatrick punches his hand to the floor there, yeah. just to stop uh, Marquez's hips and, and, and shoulder working together. Now he's a nice high pass. Oh, he's looking Ala, McGregor, Dennis Siva there. And oh, is he looking? Yeah, he's got the front headlock position, but Marquez yeah, yeah, looks Mar strong there. Yeah, Marquez. Oh, he's connected his hands together. We've got a, a nice oh, tight... Oh, it's a nice high end. It's a tap. It's over. Now, Marcel Latine does the job here for Lawrence Fitzpatrick. Wow, again. Signs off this contest with another great win for the MMA Academy. I think they're unblemished on the evening. Very, very. I mean, again, a quick, quick tap. He locked it in, raced up that elbow, and there was the tap. See, the defense to the guillotine in that position is to throw the arm over the shoulder, but... But well, Fitzpatrick negated that by bringing his his own elbow above the arm, so, so there was real no defence. And Marquez was left with no no alternative but to attack. Great to see Lawrence Fitzpatrick back to winning ways. That's got to, makes him six and one as a pro. There's so many exciting matches for the Absolutely. young gentleman from Liverpool coming up. Absolutely, look. Okay, take your pick, name your names from, from the UK MMA lightweight rankings. I put Lawrence Fitzpatrick right there with the, with the very best of them, Steve, and I'd like to see him soon in those challenging bouts. Saul Rogers? I think uh, you, MMA Academy, SBG have a, have a friendship, and, Rod, and maybe Saul Rogers looking down to, to Featherweight, but I think that type of name is in that type of company for me. Fishgold, Pimblet. 
Fierce Gold is a, is a dream fight. It, it Ladies and styles, gentlemen, please strike your appreciation well, for both Without further ado, we can speculate on that evening. after our official decision. We have reached our conclusion. Three minutes and 19 seconds into round number one for your winner via a guillotine choke. And now, the UKFC European Lightweight Champion, Lawrence Fitzpatrick. Lawrence Laws Fitzpatrick. First round, are you happy? Uh, I still haven't got to show what I can do. You know what I mean? I thought I might get some stand up, but every single one of my opponents, like my last four now, have all shot within the first minute. As soon as they feel the power, as soon as they feel like they see the speed, you know, they, every, every one of them shoots. So, something that I'm aware of now as well. No, I'll take that, move on. You know, you're all going to see it soon. So. You're now the UKFC professional European lightweight champion. This your first professional belt? Yeah, yeah, first professional belt. Can't get a fight in the UK because they're all pussies, so, you know, just get whatever's given to me. How does it feel to be our professional champion? Uh, what do you think of this? Yeah, it's a great show, really good. I was very impressed. I mean, this is the first time I've seen it as well, so when I come in and I was thought, Good show, so yeah, made up. Anyone like to thank? Ob obviously, all my teammates, everyone at the MMA Academy, everyone at Four Corners Gym, and John Gillies, and all them, and all my family as well for being so supportive. You know, that's it. The dog and the cat, and all that, too. Can't forget the dog and the cat. Let's give it one last time for our brand new professional European UKFC lightweight champion, Lawrence Laws Fitzpatrick. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for joining us. That concludes UKFC number five. We will be back here at the Guildhall in Preston on the 10th of March 2018. Keep an eye on all social media channels. We will see you at the next show. Don't forget, join us downstairs for our after party. Live music will continue and UFC action on the big screens. Until next time, have a a safe journey home. A big thank you to everybody for joining us this evening. We will see you next time. Take care and good night.